Here with Storm legend Marcus Bayer, helping the club out today. Marcus, what are you up to? Yeah, um, no, it was good. Um, just come up and um, have some stories and uh, something to say. Um, obviously with the club um, for six years and, um, and the club has gone you know, that far, far ahead of um, what they are in a very professional club. So yeah, um, just come up and help out and, and um, see how the boys go today. So you're an original Storm member. How do you feel about the club 20 plus years on? Look, I think, um, see, I think 21, 22 years ago, um, we never thought, um, obviously, the club would be this far. And, and what uh, John Rimbo and uh, you know, all these guys have been a long time ago, um, you know, Craig Bellamy and uh, Craig and you know, Frank, and, and uh, since 2003, uh, been part of that, 2003, but uh, they've taken over from there. And, They've never looked back from it, you know, after about four or five, five grand finals. I've uh, been, been very competitive um, uh, until today, so, uh, so we're proud of you. Um, we're proud to be part of, part of the, uh, uh, the club and uh, uh, the legacy keeps going on. I imagine another thing you're proud of is having another PNG player wearing the Storm colours and Jazzy Ollum. Yeah, very proud. Uh, I think after, what, 13 years and uh, I left in 2003 and, uh, and uh, no one, you know, obviously, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, David Mead and uh, other boys being, being, being with the uh, NRL, but uh, to be able to, uh, to see uh, Justin come from the, uh, uh, basically the similarities of, uh, I come from the coast and uh, Justin come from the highlands, and to be able to, um, to come and make it through the, um, through the, um, the Hunters, uh, Intra Super Cup, that, um, you know, the government that PNG Rugby Football League has built to, um, to, to be able to give our, our young boys uh, the opportunity to come up and, and do uh, probably experience some of, some of the things that I've, I've experienced, and uh, I'm very proud of Justin. Um, you know, took him probably what two or three years, and, and now he's there, and, uh, and he knows that he's got a lot of support from eight million people like who went back the beginning. So uh, he's doing really well. We're proud of him, and you know, eight million guys, eight million people, um, full support of Melbourne. Melbourne and, and obviously uh, with him doing well for us, uh, he now kicks on the, a lot of young boys want to be like him um, and obviously a lot of them want to be want to come up here and learn the game learn the game as, as much as they can and, um, and play in the, in the top in the NRL level so, um, Justin is uh, Justin is a, is a great story from us, from, from, from the village and to come all the way from you know, Chingu and made his own way up to you know, Lay, come to Mosby and then 2017 he had, 2016 he had his chance, Melbourne picked him up and last year winning the grand final is you know, really most them for a lot of public years. 99, 1991 that was some, some years back, but to be able to get a young public Guinean come from the village, uh, walk days and days from his village to come down to the town of Chimbu and, and to be able to make it um, to Mosby and, and we were very lucky with the Hunters and um, Intra Super Cup really gave our young boys, um, Christian Rugby League really gave, gave our young boys a chance to make it to, to uh, NRL. So we, when we see Jazzy get the ball, we're always amazed at how hard he runs and he doesn't seem to care about his body. What do you think when he runs it? Look, I'll tell you, every, every Papua New Guinea young boys, we are growing up. Um, it's not about skills, it's about how tough we can we can play. Uh, in Papua New Guinea, when you run hard, um, that's all it counts. Um, if you don't run hard and you put on your backside, um, everybody will give it to you in, in, in the country. So, um, I, I mean, uh, Justin come from a, in a, in a hard, you know, uh, coming from a village. Uh, it's, it's a different way of bringing up. Um, so do myself. I come from a different way of bringing up. It's hard. You walk everywhere, and those things are normal. You come up here, and everything is easy. Um, and the toughness is still in the head. You know, the aggressiveness. Um, all you have to do is you know, trigger it. And when Justin is angry or when he wants to play tough, you know, he can play tough. Um, and that shows when the hunters boys in the intra Super Cup. You know, they can be a very tough, tough um, uh, team. Um, but at times, you know, consistency is, is one of those things that uh, uh, the boys need to work on. And, and, and hopefully.
hopefully, you know, we're still learning the game. A lot of these boys come from the village. Some of them finish probably grade six, a grade eight, or grade ten, and love the game uh, because of you know, players like Justin inspire them. Um, they want to be rugby league players. Most of them, and probably same as me, we struggle to speak English. <laughs> English and just the way we want to play the game, we want to play tough, we want to run hard and tackle hard. And that's all we know. Um, but to come up here and Justin being coached by you know, Craig and, and, and the coaching staff really uh, changed his game from the 2016 that we see the change of mind, his mindset, the way he plays, um, cut off a lot of mistakes that he, he done with the Hunters. Um, he's doing well, so we're proud of him. And we're proud of what you've done for Storm. Thanks for joining us. Man. No worries, thank you.